What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and a little fun fact about me, I really enjoy traveling. What about you? I like going to new places, meeting new people and eating new food and having fun adventures and experiences, but I haven't been able to travel a lot lately, so I gotta get my fix somehow. And I figured a fun way to do that would be to design out some fun concept work. Maybe a fictitious travel application, something I can kind of cruise and book different trips on, a few screens like a login, a category screen, and maybe some sort of booking or product screen. I just figured it'd be fun. So with all that being said, come with me and we'll eat some mysterious food that will mess up our stomachs and ruin our trip. Okay, so I've already prepared some assets for the project. I'm gonna jump right into the computer and get going. You can see on my desktop, I have a folder called Travel App. I'm just gonna open it up and kind of take a look at what we have. I have a few photos, because I figured you're probably gonna need some travel photography, so I just grabbed some stuff from Unsplash. Um, so we have like this nice surfing picture, this canyon picture, and we have this beautiful picture of what I think is Venice. Looks really nice. Haven't been to Italy, I'd like to go there. Uh, I also have a few um, icons I downloaded from the Noun Project, so I'll put all the links and credits down in the description and I have a blank file. So I'm gonna open up my blank file and you can see I have absolutely nothing inside of it. I'm gonna take all of those assets that I just pulled in and I'm just gonna drag them somewhere on the canvas and they are massive. Okay, so for our login screen, um, I'm thinking we might need another picture. So I went out and I got another picture and I'm just dropping this picture in. So we have that kind of thing going on. Now we could do pure white, could totally do that. Um, we might try that, let's see. I'm gonna put my, my logo right here in place, like nice and big. Maybe not that big, I'm gonna press Command K and just kind of, yeah, I'm just gonna knock that down a little bit. And uh, yeah, that's good. I think I'm gonna mask this out and just do like a gentle kind of gradient. So let's do that. Let's actually, you know what? Um, I'm gonna put like a login screen box here so we don't want this to be white on white, right? So let's do this. Let's fill this with our neutral color. And I'm just holding down command option and the down arrow or up arrow to kind of move them forward or backward, um, kind of in the stack of things. So here we go. So now we have kind of that neutral color behind and we have this guy right here. Um, I'm going to mask out this guy, this photo by creating a mask. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop a uh, shape in there, and that really bugs me that every time I put one in there, it's like our the same line style that we did from our wireframe, so I'm just gonna go to style and set as default. Now whenever I draw any sort of shape, it'll just be white. Um, I'm going to drop this behind, and I'm going to mask these two together. Now a cool trick is you can come in here and you can select your mask, and then you can choose what type of mask it is. We want mask mode to be alpha mask, okay? So that means now if we go back to our mask shape and we choose a gradient, and we can just use a gradient that goes from black to absolutely transparent like that, we can then alpha out the very edge of it, just like that, so it's a little bit more subtle. And now the whole thing's masked in there. Put the two things together like that and just group them in our layers panel. You can see right here. I'm just gonna zoom in so we can see the work we're doing a little bit. Again, I'm gonna pull my layers panel over a little bit so you can see. Now you can see I have a group right here. I'm just gonna call it BG for background and we have our logo. We might as well, if that's our actual logo, we're just gonna make a little symbol out of it and call it logo, so that's good. And now let's lock uh, our background and Hmm, next thing we're gonna do is, what did our, our janky wireframe have on it? It had like a login screen and a button. So let's do that, okay? Um, I feel like that's a good login screen. Let's head over and start building out our next screen, which will be, um, I'm gonna call this like our category um, screen, okay? So I'm gonna wipe out the logo here and I'm gonna wipe out like all my different input fields and all these guys. And even let's find the, back, the background thing here. Let's get rid of this photo. Let's keep the background 
uh, color. Okay, so we're gonna just lock the background color in place. And let's take this same style um, and let's make like a card style out of it because I feel like that would be a good idea. I'm gonna turn on my, uh, my guides by just pressing Control L. That's for my layout, excuse me, my layout. And I'm not gonna mess with the layout, I'm just gonna keep it as is. I'm going to just line my card up to the different, you know, uh, rows there or columns, excuse me. And then I'm gonna start creating a card style. Now, I think I might just get rid of my status bar up there because we're in the app and I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna designate some like scrolling, right? So I'm gonna have like a card up above the fold up there and one below and another one here in the middle like that. So give it a little bit of space. So you can see this is kind of what I'm going for. I want to be able to scroll through a bunch of cards. That's the state that I'm gonna kind of show it in. So I don't know if this card size is gonna be the right size, but we'll just start experimenting with it, okay? so. about when you're when you're designing on you know some sort of grid system like this do you, does everything always have to stay no you use the grids when you want to use the grids or when you should use the grids everything needs to be lined up so all my cards are lined up but it doesn't mean that these you know pieces of typography have to start all the way over there that's a that's a choice that you make and everything lines up but they're for reference okay so this would be good so this would be like a trip we're gonna go on it could be something like an Oahu surf trip and again everything is center aligned which is weird so we're just gonna update that style as well so I'm just putting it there and just kicking over maybe 15 That's a good card, let's do that. So first things first, I want to create a symbol out of my heart. I'm gonna call it icon-heart, and I'm also gonna create a symbol out of this one, icon-chevron. Okay, so we have our chevron there. Now, what would be really cool is if we would just take this entire card and make a symbol out of it. So we can take our, um, let's see, let's do that. And no, actually, let's put it back in there. We'll call this the image. Uh, image mask. Let's see how this goes. Okay, we're gonna take everything that's in there. So we have the card itself, the image, all of the text, and we're gonna create a symbol out of this. We're gonna call it trip dash card. And we can see immediately now when you look over into our right hand panel, you get all the overrides. We're gonna delete these other kind of like placeholder cards. And we'll just drop this, these other cards. I'm just dragging out new versions by holding down option and shift to make sure it's lined up nice. So now we have these other cards. So we're gonna fast forward and use all of our overrides to change uh, all of the different kind of like content inside of our cards. back so now you can see we filled in our cards I think something I do want to do uh, before we move on is create different states for these heart icons so I'm gonna go and just kind of zoom in on my symbols page to my icon heart I'm gonna rename it icon heart empty and then I'm gonna duplicate it pull it right down here and call it icon heart filled and I will take that and remove the border and fill it up like that. Now, I'm wondering if inside of our card, this should be the symbol. So now we go back to our page, I can click on this icon heart right here, 
and I can choose which one I want. So we've hearted this one, but we haven't hearted the other ones because we're really interested in surfing on Oahu. So uh, that could be really cool. Okay, I think that's a good place to stop for our second screen. Let's move on to our last and final screen. So I'm just gonna drag this guy over and I'm gonna delete the other items that we have and I'm gonna name this um, kind of like uh, product. Okay, this would be like our actual individual product screen. We're featuring the full details of the trip or whatever. So I feel like it should, you know, really just be an extension of the trip card that's over on our category page. So, so that's why I brought over this artboard with this card on it. Cause what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to detach from symbol here. And now I have all of the actual elements that were inside there. So I'm just going to, you know, pull it up right there and I'm going to start reworking the pieces. So some basic prototyping so um, that's good so we're gonna just hit the login right here and we're gonna link we're gonna press right there you can either do that by pressing the link button or if you look up in prototyping um, we can add a link to an artboard by pressing W so we could just click on our tappable area press W and we're gonna lead to the next board and you can see up here in our prototyping area it's telling us that um, we can do some selections here. So what kind of animation do we want? Well, we want it just to maybe no artboard animation, just kind of dissolve, okay? And then from this guy, if we clicked on this card, we want W over here, and maybe we'll just do a simple slide left or slide up, we could do that. And then we can save. So let's save and let's preview and we want to make sure that our login, we use the little flag to say that's our home screen. Um, so we have our home screen and you can see I can roll over right here and we can click and same here. We can do the same thing. We can click on this guy and you can see the difference actually. Let's, let's do this. Let's grab this little guy um, and we're going to W back so we're gonna always go back to where we came from and it's gonna just do the opposite animation but you can see the difference between this this piece here or this artboard here is because it's extended it's scrollable and because this one is not you can't scroll it. so that feels a little funky so we might want to come back in here and just change that really quick and just drag that out and it's gonna need to be even longer I think but we can just drag that down and just space our categories there. Perfect like that, okay? So now when we go back, we have, um, we have the ability to preview it and it's gonna go right to our login screen again. We can press login and we can scroll up and down and actually see our, like our design. We can see that this one is tappable, so we're gonna tap it and that brings our design up. And then we can click back right here and go back down. Well, that's it. That's our travel application. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun making this one. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I do lots of videos about design and development and tutorials and walkthroughs just like this one. So maybe stick around. If you have any questions about a technique I used or something that I did during the walkthrough, leave it down in the comments and make sure to check the description where I have the starting files that has all the resources already in it. You can download that for free down below. I hope you guys are having an amazing week designing amazing things, making amazing things, and letting your creativity take you wherever it might lead you. I'll see you in the next one.